Welcome back. Covering the Treasure Coast, a local organization partnering with volunteers in the community to build or improve a place people in need can call home. And now St. Lucie Habitat for Humanity have received a big donation for all of their work. Joining me now is Executive Director Bob Calhoun, as well as Developmental and Marketing Director Chris Robertson. Gentlemen, thank you so much for being here with us today. So tell us about this big donation you got from Publix Charities. Yes. Publix Charities, uh, a while ago we applied for a grant with Publix Charities and um, it, it, was, it was a big step for us, you know, $100,000 that we applied for. a lot of money, for. yeah. It's a lot of money and uh, we, we, we put in there and we talked about affordable housing on the Treasure Coast and in St. Lucie County specifically and uh, I, after communicating with Publix Charities, lo and behold I got an email one day and says, you have been approved for $100,000. Oh, amazing. That must great. have been great news to get that. So tell us about what $100,000 does for Habitat for Humanity. It changes lives and it, it really it changes um, on the Treasure Coast. $100,000 on the Treasure Coast and homes that we're building, it changes lives. It, it, it allows families to have, uh, to empower families and that, that money will go a long way in, in helping these children with their education, with, with uh, the mom or, mm -hmm. or, or the, the mother or the father going to work every day, having a little bit, you know, they have a roof over their house. They having have something in the cupboards. Home, they yeah, really do. Absolutely. So we all know that the cost of housing just has, has gone up and, and the materials and all of that. <clears throat> so how have you been able to continue to be able to provide that for families? Yeah, and it certainly has been a challenge. We, we're subject to all the market influences mm -hmm. any other home builder is in the area. So we've done uh, primarily two things. Uh, one, we've launched our first townhome project in St. Lucie County with 10 townhomes uh, that will provide homes to an additional 10 families. Uh, construction work's begun. We're looking at starting to move people in sometime in the late summer into that development. The second change we made, which the, we deliberated about for some time and, and instituted about three years ago is we shifted to a community land trust model of ownership in how this helps us and the families is the land trust model pulls the cost of the land out of that sales equation and in, in, in our marketplace um, maybe we can find a building lot for $50,000, more likely it's $100,000. Mm -hmm. So by removing that cost from the purchase price, it allows us to continue to serve the people that we've traditionally served uh, with incomes around 80% okay. of and area gentlemen, median you know what? income. I know we've done so many stories with Habitat for mm -hmm. Humanity, honestly, across the country in different cities I've worked in. Mm -hmm. Remind me again, how do the families get chosen? Do people nominate them? Do you find the families? How does that work exactly? Yes, yes. Um, once we see homes on our planning horizon and we've got a, a, you know, a good idea of when we'll be able to deliver those completed homes, we open up our, an application process. And we evaluate families on three criteria. One is their income and ability to pay. There's a maximum income because above that we feel they can go to the marketplace. Uh, and then there's a minimum because we want to set people up for success. Mm -hmm. um, secondly, there's a willingness to partner with us because part of the Habitat program is that everybody helps each other. So there is a minimum number of hours. We didn't coin the term sweat equity, but we certainly help put it on the map, mm -hmm. which also includes a lot of things like financial literacy training, why in Florida you have to have two different kinds of homeowners insurance. And then lastly, we look at a need-based component. So our, our family selection committee, which functions just like at a bank, a, a loan committee, uh, actually they go out and twice visit family with two different teams yeah. to interview them, not just to, you know, kind of ground validate their living conditions, but more important to make sure they understand the commitment that it's both ways. Definitely takes a team to be able to put all of that together it and again does. to provide just homes for, for families um, that are just so deserving of them. Gentlemen, thank you so much for being here with us. There are lots of events going on with Habitat for Humanity and volunteer opportunities as well. You can head to our website, WPBF.com, and click on the link there and you'll be able to get all the information we just spoke about and again, those volunteer and event um, opportunities as well. Brooke, over to you. All right. Thank